After the Wizards beat the Magic last night, they became 9-3, which is the best record in the East right now. That's fucking crazy, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't see this coming at all, and I doubt anyone else did too. But I didn't know Montrezl Hell was gonna kill this year. I'm glad he's proven me right. So far, he's averaging 18 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, and a block, shooting 64% from the field and 84% from the line in only 29 minutes a game. That's dumb elite. I still can't believe the Lakers really benched him last year. But he's not the only one hooping though. Kuzma and Spencer Dinwiddie is doing their thing. Bradley Bill is also hooping too, but he ain't even playing his best right now. He's averaging 23 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, but he's only showing 25% from 3. Once he starts showing like he normally does, he should be averaging like 26. It's also crazy how he missed two games too and they still got the best record in the East. And ironically, they have a better record than the Lakers who's only 7-6. That looks super bad on Westbrook because when he was with the Wizards last year in the beginning of the season, they was one of the worst teams in the league. In their first 12 games, they was only 3-9. And, and the Lakers without Westbrook in their first 12 games last season, they was 9-3. <laughs> That's crazy when you think about it. Because of this, Westbrook been getting flamed on social media. One person said Russ was holding this contender back with his bricks and stat pattern. I guarantee Lakers would be first seed right now if they didn't do the Russ trade. Another person said the Russell Westbrook effect. And there was a lot more reactions like this. It's so real, you even got Derek Fisher messing up his name. AD's gonna have to score points in the paint off of Russell Westbrook. Uh, Westbrook missed <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's not all Westbrook's fault though. When the Wizards was losing, he wasn't playing that bad, and he's not even playing that bad right now. So far with the Lakers, he's averaging 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists, shooting 42% from the field, 29% from 3, and 65% from the line. Those percentages aren't too good, but they aren't too far from his career percentages. LeBron missing a lot of their games too is a big reason why they're only the 7th seed in the West. If he played every game, they'll probably be the 2nd seed right now. Ken Bazemore needs to step it up too. Right now he's only averaging 5 points, shooting 33% from the field and 30% from 3. AD's playing well, but he's on pace to having the worst 3 point percentage by a player attempting at least 2 threes a game if he keeps shooting 14%. I doubt he's going to keep shooting like that though the whole season. But once they get it all together and Braun gets back, they should be at the top of the West again. If not, then Westbrook is definitely going to get traded. And it might be for Ben Simmons. Remember I said that. But what do y'all think is going to end up happening though? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.